Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm going to show you guys today finishing up this 4 inch wheel that I started in my very first video. I've got to put a countersink screw in it to lock it down to the motor. And this is how I do it. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how I use this edge finder, which I do not use anymore when I do these wheels. You have to overlook my hard breathing. It's because I'm wearing a mask. When I'm working with this aluminum, I think it's a good thing to wear a mask. So yeah, we... I have my edge finder in. It's a wobbler. This thing mics out at 500 thousandths. So we're going to run it down till we get the very edge of this wheel, which is four inches in diameter. And once we find true edge, we'll have to take half of what this mics, which is 25 hundredths, and that'll put us dead edge. And then to get to the center, we know it's two inches because it's four inch wheel so we will have to move the machine over two and two hundred and fifty thousandths and I'll show you how I do this let's see run it down Okay, you see, right there is the edge so now we have to move the machine over Two and two hundred and fifty thousandths. Okay. I don't have a DRO yet for this machine. One day I will, which will simplify this process greatly. Now let me get you over here so you can see we have this on zero. So yeah, let's see here. This thing's not focusing so good. And that's our center right there. Okay, now that we got center, we're ready to drill this out and tap it. So we know this is a four inch wheel. This is a five eighths ID hole in the center. So 
that is going to leave 1.375 to the edge of this hole. So what I do, I am going to drill down one inch with a 3 8 bit and then I'm going to change over and drill and tap for the set screw. Okay, once this bit just touches here, I set my little DRO to zero. Excuse the shaking as I'm having to use both hands. So now that we have this set to zero, I know to go down one inch. Okay, got the one inch by three eighths. Now we're going to drill all the way through for our threads. That bit's a little dull. We're through. So now we're ready to tap it. This is going to be a 5 sixteenths. I believe it's 20. Let's see. This is going to be a 5 sixteenths, 18 tap. Guys, I really like these new style taps, spiral taps. They really work good, but I have brooks on them too. So, yeah. All right, now we're going to tap the blind hole. And we're all the way through. Have our set screw. All right, guys, and this uh, this little Allen set screw is what holds this drive wheel to the motor and uh, of course I'll clean it and blow it and all before I put it in there but yeah that's pretty much it um, I'm planning on making a review of this PM 932M that I got from Matt out at Quality Machine I've had pretty good success with this machine um, so yeah 
All right, appreciate it, guys. Catch you on the next video.